day. Right, today's video is part of the Nutty Nail Co. Um, <clears throat> I should have said, I hope you're all okay. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Got a bit giddy. Um, Nutty Nail Co. and the theme is Carnival. And um, there'll be lots and lots of different designs. There's some on Instagram and there's some on YouTube. So there'll be a link for YouTube channel below. And then if you pop over to Instagram, you can find us all on there. So I've decided I'm going to do a headdress. Uh, so it's your typical sort of Rio type grand carnival. Um, or any interpretation of carnival. It could be fates and stuff like that. So these are just some pale blue tips that I've already got. Um, they're that shape, they're that colour. I've just buffed them. I've given them a base coat and then a velvet mat and then I'm going to try and draw on them in pencil but for that I want them to work sort of side by side so I've changed over onto voiceover so that I can uh, speed it up just to twice speed that's all and I'm going to show you a little bit of each section of what I do and um, there's a couple of reasons one is uh, the next door neighbour is uh, hammering, I was going to say a different word then, he's hammering and banging and drilling and all sorts so uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought when I was talking and uh, this is easier for you. So I'm just drawing out, I, I found a picture on uh, Google and uh, it's a headdress uh, and I, um, I'm just drawing it out with a pencil so those uh, tips, I don't know if I've just said, they've been buffed. Um, just a base coat, top coat, buffed them. Now this is a palette, I want to use acrylic paint. So this is a palette I bought, which is a, a plastic, I got it from Amazon. If you're going to use a lot of acrylic paint, you need to keep it moist while you're doing it. So, because I practice for... Well, I was. I haven't done it for a bit, actually, but I was practicing for hours. Mm -hmm. So it's got a sponge in the bottom, which you wet, and then uh, you put a paper on the top. And you can do it by just having a little wet sponge, bathroom sponge, anything like that. And you put um, greaseproof paper on it. Uh, if you're only doing a bit, then it's fine. But if you're doing a lot, it will dry out. You'll get like a crust on top of it because it's air dry. Um... So this is um, the start of the feathers. Uh, I've made some of these colours. I showed you the um, acrylic paint and I got about six colours from Dorota Polishka. Uh, she's on YouTube and you'll find a link to her website. And I think these are great because they've got a lovely screw top. You can just squeeze out a little bit. Uh, and I've got on smashing with them. And from having these six colours, you can mix loads and loads of different colours. So like the limey colour that I'm going to use and the orange, uh, I've mixed those. So that's a little bit of the blue. And then you let it dry. Uh, you don't cure it or anything, it just air dries. If you put it on fairly thin, it dries very quickly. By the time you've gone from one end to the other, they'll probably all be dry. But with this orange, I put on quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, it took a little while to dry. So you'll see I move on to something else in a bit just to let that dry. Because if I painted on the top of it, the colours would mix together. It would just blur it. So I decided, you can see the wet on the right-hand side one. I'm just going to go on to painting that middle, making it more... Once I start putting stones on here, I didn't want to not be able to see the line. So... Uh, I've just, just got distracted by my phone. Um, so I decided to paint it white so I can see it. So as you can see, because this I'm putting this on fairly thin, uh, it, it'll dry very quickly. In the meanwhile, I'll go and get out what uh, gems I want to use. And then to stick the gems on, I'm, I'm going to just use a base coat. So I'm going around it with a top coat around the edges after anyway. Uh, use whatever glue you like. But I wanted to have plenty of time to play with it. So I wanted it to be on something that cures. 
But if you're going to be wearing them with the gems, then probably use a glue and then go around with your top coat. So, I'll just put you a little bit of, uh, I think I've got a bit of salsa or samba for you. So I'll put you that on and let you watch while I put some gems on. So did you get up? Did you get up and have your little... I've had my two minutes for exercise for today. So if you've been sat in your chair all day, you should get up every hour or so. So get yourself up, rewind and have a little jig. <laughs> um, anyway, I've been watching too much Strictly Come Dancing. So this is the green that I mixed. I used some blue and yellow because I didn't quite have the shade. Um... Or did I just put yellow into my green? I don't know, no matter. Mix whatever you like. So, just layering up. Now your brush is clean just with water when you're using acrylic paint. So as I say, uh, it's air dry. Um, brush is clean with water and then just wipe them between the cloth. Um, so you can just use the same brush. Just keep jiggling it about in the water. Wipe it off. You can paint one colour on top of another. I just decided to fill in these end bits and make that, those orange ones a bit longer. I think it would be absolutely fabulous to go to a carnival. I think it would be amazing visual spectacle and fun and yeah I, if my lungs had held out i'd be jigging all day but i think i can only manage one now and uh, so that two minute section of dance music were enough for me um so i'm just separating them a bit because i didn't want them to stick together um so i just put the glue around i'll just show you putting a few of these on because i take them all the way around and then I'm going to add some sort of gold spiky bits around the top as well. So if you're enjoying the video, if you uh, wouldn't mind clicking that like button, that helps me enormously. And uh, if you want to subscribe, that would be fab. Um, do check before you click that button whether you've already subscribed because if you press it and you've already subscribed then you'll be taking it off um, so yeah 
just check and have a look if you want to be involved with any of the giveaways um, that are come up periodically and I do some pretty good ones uh, you need to be a public subscriber so that happens with a lot of the giveaways so just check in your settings uh, on YouTube that you want to subscribe and um, publicly don't matter nobody else sees it really um, in fact we don't really see it until we click on it and just check on the subscriber list and it's free if you've never subscribed to any youtube channel it is free you get adverts on regardless of whether you subscribe or not and you only really get notified um, of the videos for the youtubers that you've been currently watching so i've got probably about 100 that i've subscribed to but the notifications only pop up from ones that i'm watching regularly the others um it'll be a list as a sidebar on my youtube and i can go and find them when i want to watch them you'll always be the same you'll have some that you watch all the time and some that you watch now and again when you need some information so i'm just doing the white on this and i'm trying to use the very tip of the brush now these lines are a little bit thicker than i wanted um i need to get a, a finer detail brush for this but if you do want to make very fine lines like with your white and stuff it's such a strong color make sure you mix the paint on your palette with a little bit of water now if you do make a mistake if you act quickly enough you can wipe it off because the color underneath has dried but you must wipe this while it's wet if you don't use acetone or anything on it just try and rub it off and uh, if it if it don't come off you're stuck you've got you've got to move quick see that's that was too thick i've wiped it off quickly let's put it back on so that's the finished looks and the playlist is in the description see you later bye <laughs>